What kind of sound? <laughs> That's how Tommy and Robin Rogers describe the noise coming from this 11-foot alligator Wednesday night just down the street from their home. He was right in the edge of the road. You know, he wasn't in the woods or anything. He was right in the edge of the road, and you, you would have seen him pretty quick because he was pretty big. Tommy says he wasn't that scared when he saw it. Because I was in the car. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if I'd have been on foot, it would have been a little bit scary, yeah. With warmer temperatures, these sightings will be more common. Dean Kane is an officer with the State Department of Natural Resources. He's had three alligator calls just this week. And it's actually quite normal and common for them to come out of a small, say, uh, drainage pond in a residential area and move up onto the uh, water's edge or even in somebody's yard. That's really fairly normal. And Wednesday night, that's what this alligator did. Yeah, he never did move because, we, like I say, we went up to up town and we came back, you know, 30, 40 minutes later and he was still there. After police waited a couple hours in hopes the gator would move, DNR was called to take it away. It seemed like the alligator was injured and we went ahead and had the trapper uh, remove the alligator from the premises about 3 a.m. Kane says alligators larger than six feet are usually killed. In many instances, the alligator may be injured and uh, under that condition, their alligators cannot be operated on or fixed, so they just have to be dispatched. Also, there is no rehabilitation facility in the state that alligators can be taken to.